Just a heads up, Glam Fam, this is going to be a completely different video for me. I never saw myself having to make this video because I thought that the adults in this situation would learn to hear all sides of the story and learn that people actually do lie. Um, so I never expected myself to have to make this, but a quick word of advice from an 18 year old, please do not throw stones when you live in a glass house and please do not tell lies on people and try to hide your hand. That's not how life works. And I also want to say that my dad is such a great man that these same people that are now dissing him gave him a man of the year award because of how great he was. So what does that tell you? That people switch up when they want a little bit of attention, when they want a little bit of recognition, or when they want to have their way. And just a little bit of advice, if you have a snake in your family, please cut them off before they do the things that a snake in my family has done, which was the ultimate disrespect. Uh, and and I've done my part to I don't know why you got such a beef with me I don't know I'm your mother for 19 years and it was here in this conversation that all the lies started here she told my mom that we can't pursue her for filing false charges when you press them false charges I'm pretty sure dad has already said he is going to pursue you he's gonna pursue you for filing false charges Chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my heart. Hi, Glam Stars. I'm Maddie, and welcome to my channel. If you have not yet became an official Glam Star, all that you have to do is hit that subscribe button in order to become one. And let's go ahead and get right into this video. See, girl is having herself a spa day. I'm getting myself together, just rejuvenating myself and making myself feel even better than I already do. But on today, I decided to pop in and reply to a comment. By the way, don't mind my finger, okay? Your girl ended up breaking her fingernail, so that is why I'm also having a spa day so I can, you know, slap me on a fresh set of acrylic nails, okay? Um, but today, I'm here to reply to a comment and I'm here to clarify a few things because there's a lot of stuff that has been said um, about my family, about myself, and now it's time for things to come to a head, okay? Now it's time for things to be out there, so I'm simply going to reply to a comment in this video, um, and I'm just going to discuss a little bit about family dynamic, um, since that's pretty much the topic that we've been on, especially with that last video that I posted, that what happened to her video, if you have not seen it I'll link it in the cards um, and from that video a lot of questions came about obviously a lot of comments um, and today I'm here to answer one of those comments now names will not be shown or told in this video because we do not give clout over here we have very big platforms on this side um, especially with my mom having almost 300,000 subscribers so I don't want to give anybody any clout that they haven't worked to get um, I'm simply just going to discuss this comment and just tell you all the truth uh, about this comment. So first I'm going to start by reading the comment and then I'm going to go through and dissect it bit by bit and piece by piece because there's a lot of stuff that needs to be said and I'm going to use my platform, my platform where I make money in order to state my opinion about this situation. So let's read the comment. Maddie, stop it. Misery truly loves company. Your dad, in quotation marks, which is not your dad, is a f And I'm going to blur out a lot of words because um, obviously I don't want this video to get demonetized. Um, so a lot of these words, if they are something that's against YouTube's policy, I'm just going to blur them out, okay? And I know from the experience of being in his disgusting presence. This lady, a lady that was once in our family, has no reason to lie about what he did to her. That lady is not estranged from the whole family, just y'all. 
As you all's first cousin, this is the saddest mess I've ever seen and heard in my life. You and your mom need a reality check, exclamation point. <laughs> we are blood, but you allow someone who is not to keep you away from your sister and daughter. Hmm, okay. Your mom's firstborn, might be. This is truly sad. Big Mama is turning over in her grave about this, I'm sure. She was the true pillar of this family, being the fact that my mom is and my sister, your aunt and first cousin. <laughs> you would think that would open your eyes to the fact that life is short and family should always come first no matter what. How would you feel if you lost your sister? God forbid, honestly. She has decided to stay away from this mess to keep her sanity and peace with her soon-to-be husband. And she is about to have your mom's first granddaughter. Is it my mom's first granddaughter? And your first niece in two months. But it's sad. Your mom stated the only grandchild she has is y'all's dogs. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Wow. This madness has to stop. I'm 800 miles away from Memphis, and for this news to travel all the way here is heartbreaking. Jesus fix it! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Okay, so everyone has heard that comment, and now we're going to dissect it, and I'm going to speak about this individual who left this comment. I'm also going to speak a little bit about the family dynamic. So let's break it down. Let's dissect this whole entire comment from beginning to end. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing in this video, okay? And if y'all have anything that y'all like to say, whether you say it after this video or before this video, leave it in the comment section down below because I love to hear everyone's opinion over on this side. That is what I have a platform for, for everyone to be able to have dialogue and also for me to be able to come on here and be myself and to share my life. That is why it's called Maddie's Glam Life because this channel is all about my life. Um, and unfortunately, sometimes, things like this and people like this uh, God somehow tied the chains and happened to make people relate it um, so this deserves a response I believe so let's go ahead and let's start first we're gonna start with the Maddie stop it part okay we're gonna start with dissecting this part okay so Maddie stop it now from the circumstances and things that have been going on behind the scenes you want me to stop speaking on my public platform what the truth is that people are out here spreading lies and telling lies you don't want me to speak about that you want me to close my mouth what type of sense does that make you want me to close my mouth when everyone else is supposedly out here speaking their truth which is literally their truth because they made their truth up uh, when I'm really literally speaking the truth, there's a difference between my truth and the truth. And people don't like when you're out here speaking the truth, okay? That hits a different nerve with people, okay? Um, and therefore, people try to silence you. Maddie, stop it. As if I'm going to stop speaking the truth while everybody else is around here spreading their truth. Hmm. Let's continue dissecting this. This is my job. I'm never going to stop being honest with my supporters and with my followers. I'm never going to stop being honest in general because this is who I've been since the beginning of time. I've been real. I don't know what everybody else is and the image that everybody else is portraying, but me, I'm real, I'm raw, and if I'm saying something, it's 100% the truth. Now the person that you're talking about, that you have dealings with, you might want to second guess that one, okay? And there's a lot of reasons why that you don't even know. <laughs> Misery truly loves company. This is my career. This is my job, okay? I'm not looking for company. I'm not looking for company from anybody. Um, so Misery loves company. You're right. The person that you made this comment about, who you are supposedly coming to the defense of is the true miserable one. She's the one that's looking for company. 
That's why she seeked out all of you people that she never talked to. That's looking for company. So when you say misery loves company, you're talking about the person that you're supposedly close to. I have company over here. I have a genuine people who care about me over here. I have people who are real and who are on my side and who ain't out here, you know, badgering my name and fake because God then removed those people from my life over here. So what are you talking about? Misery loves company. I'm not looking for company. Are you perhaps looking for company? Are you perhaps looking for somebody to comfort you? Because uh, there's a lot of foul stuff about you. That's the part that you're missing. Who's looking for company? Who wants company? Because it sure isn't me. I was raised in a loving household. I was raised with people who care about me, my well-being. I was raised by people who have done nothing but good to me besides the person that you're supposedly defending. Hmm. Okay, and misery loves company, so you're, you're referring to me when you say misery loves company. I ain't looking for no company. But what are you? You're looking for company. That's why you came under my video talking about misery loves company because you're that misery that wants company. Ah, I figured it out. And the whole time that I was reading this message, I'm sitting here wondering, why is misery leaving me a comment? Your dad who is not your dad is a I know from the experience of being in his disgusting presence. How would you know something like that? Were you trying to come on to my dad? Is there something about you that 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 we don't know? Come on now because it's not adding up, all right? Because I've been around plenty of times where you and my dad were around. So what I get from this message is that maybe you were trying to come on to my dad? I don't know. That's, that's what I get from that. I don't know. Y'all let me know down below because that's what I see. My dad's a how, how would you know that? And how is that your business? And why are you telling me that I'm his child? That's information that I shouldn't even know. So, why are you putting this under my video? I'm 18 years old. I literally just got out of the phase of being a minor. Why are you under my video writing this? Why? And how would you know that about somebody? Unless you've tried something on them yourself. Hmm. Okay. She's talking about my dad, which is not my dad. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Hold on. Let's dial it all the way back. You called him my dad, but he's not my dad? Yeah, that's my dad. Point blank and oop. There's the period. I didn't say that that was my biological father. But if you really want to be technical, my biological father handed him over those rights. My biological father always thanked him for taking care of me. My biological father always appreciated what my dad did for me. Okay? And also what my dad did for that other child over there. Okay? So you're coming to my channel and to my platform like you're exposing some type of news that everybody doesn't already know about. It's already been said that that's not my biological father. My mom has already said that to her almost 300,000 subscribers. So what are you really saying and what are you really insinuating? We're still trying to figure that out here. My dad that is not my dad? Make it make sense because we're still looking for the common sense in this message, okay? And we're still looking for the reason why you're writing this under somebody's video who is young enough to be your child. I'm still trying to figure this out. Maybe I'll figure it out towards the end, who knows? This has gotten me completely baffled about how you would know some information like that about somebody when every time you were around my dad, uh, we were either all together or my mom was there. So, uh, what you really talking about, sis? Have you tried some on my dad? My daddy is 76 years old. That poor innocent man. 
I mean, it's always the sloppy women that are trying to come on to somebody. Why you do that for, girl? What you out here really doing? Mm. My daddy, my daddy is a who? My daddy is a what? Girl, I had to look up the definition of that word. That's pitiful that you write that under somebody's video that is young enough to be your child. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Whew, whoever this person is, they're almost completely illiterate, if not completely illiterate. I'm trying to give the benefit of the doubt here, but obviously this person is completely illiterate. <laughs> and you know from your experience of being in his disgusting presence, Oh, maybe she's talking about that time when she wanted to perform and sing with my mom. Can't sing a lick, can't dance a lick, but wanted to be on the stage performing with my mom. And my mom's fans who were in her presence thought that she was so disgusting that my dad had to fire her from being a background singer for us. Maybe that's the part that she's really talking about okay which was why she had to get fired okay by miss peanut butter okay <laughs> then it says this name of this person has no reason to lie about what he did to her let me tell you about this person because i know this person like the back of my hand so one day my stepsister called, which I will explain that further on in this video, um, but she happened to call at such time that my mom was recording, and she came out of her mouth to tell her own mother to shut the F up, okay? I don't use that type of profanity, but let me let y'all know something. This person has no boundaries on what they'll say or do to their own mother, and that is a shame. And that is one of the reasons why there is no making up around these parts. That's why you can't tell me anything about her because I know her. And when things don't go her way, she's a spiteful individual. She's a, she's one of those people that seeks revenge. She wants to see people break down. She wants to see them crumble under pressure. She's not this angel that she's portraying. I can assure you of that. I sat up and talked to this girl for hours and hours and hours every night. We stay up in the kitchen and talk. She talk about all the things that were hurting her. She talk about all the men that made her cry. She talk about all of this type of stuff. But what you're insinuating, it comes up suddenly when she doesn't get her way. Hmm. That doesn't seem twisted to you. That somebody comes out of the blue with something, somebody who has had a phone to contact you, to talk to you, and suddenly she wants to have a conversation with you, somebody who she's never wanted to have a conversation with. Remember that time that you called for her to work in your shop, never wanted to work in your shop, and asked my mom to call you and to tell you that she didn't want to work in your shop, but um, she has no reason to lie. She has no reason to lie. Mm. Okay, and 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 you think that 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 she really likes you? No, she's looking for somebody to speak for her. And you have definitely been that. You might want to ask a said lady to pay you a check. Because honey, you doing all of this and you ain't making no money from it. You doing all of this and you're spreading lies right along with her. I mean, y'all are just pitiful. You are almost 50 years old coming to a child's page telling me what I should stop doing, how I should stop doing it. Maybe you should stop being such an idiot and learn to pick up the phone and hear all sides of the story and not just a side that is made up and that's a lie. But you can't do that. My mama didn't had the same phone number for 20 years. But you say misery loves company. You're right. She's the misery and you're the company. Next up, this person you're talking about, which she said her name, which I don't understand how, how you care about somebody, but you wanna divulge their name on a public platform where you know people have an audience. You could put this girl in the line of being attacked by people 
who know her just as much as you know her. Why would you ever put her actual name in a comment for her to get bashed? Y'all had to take this comment down as soon as I saw it because I swear to you, I ain't got no dealings with that girl, but I don't want nobody talking bad about her. And you put her name publicly out there to the point where people could come to her page and publicly bash her and publicly humiliate her. People that don't even know her the same way that you don't know me, the same way that you don't know her, and the same way that you don't know anything that's been went on in this household. How pitiful are you? How sad are you? What are you doing with your life? What are you doing with your life that you have time to stop and write a whole book about people that you don't even know. <laughs> Child, I didn't see a lot in these 18 years of life, honey. I'm just looking forward to what 19 holds for me cause baby, y'all didn't show me a whole lot. And here comes the so-called adults of the family. <laughs> Child, please. And you said she's not estranged from the whole entire family, just us. Alexa, What's the meaning of being estranged? Estranged is an adjective meaning displaying or evincing a feeling of alienation, alienated. So she's alienated from this family. When I speak of family, I'm not referring to you. I'm not referring to anybody on your side of the spectrum. I'm not referring to anybody outside of this household. So when I say estranged, she is estranged. She's estranged because she's a coward. She's estranged because she's a liar. But oh, y'all can't speak facts. Okay, carrying on. We are the family. We are the only family she's known, okay? <laughs> you can see that in her last name. That man in there is the only father that she's ever known, okay? So all of this gibberish, all of this spewing that you doing, baby, you don't know nothing. Okay, and if I was a cursor, I'd say you don't know S-H-I-T because baby, you don't. But here you go, spewing off at the mouth. Go on, you puppet, continue on. You're a puppet, you're her puppet. You're her personal puppet. She ought to pay you. She should pay you. Hey. She should pay you $50 an hour. You come under my video to my job. This is my job. This is where I make money. This is how I pay my bills. This is how I'm creating generational wealth for my children and for my children's children. And you're on this platform telling me something about a liar. How could you ever? She's not estranged from y'all, just us. We ain't got no dealings with you. You're wrong. Again. You know what I'm saying? It's really sickening um, when people don't come with the truth. She ain't have no dealings with you until such time that she was looking for somebody to corroborate what she was talking about. That girl don't know you and you don't know her. But you say misery loves company. Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep going back to that because misery and company. She's miserable your company. So when I refer to family, you're not even in my line of thought. When I refer to family, people on that side of the family are not even in my line of thought. That could be your mother, your sister, your father, your brother, your auntie. Anybody on that side is not in my line of thought when I refer to family. I'm referring to the people that are in this household, okay? So that's the part that you missed. So when I say that she's estranged from the family, she's estranged from the people who have ever did anything for her. She's estranged from the people who have ever paid her any mind. She's estranged, can I get a witness, hallelujah, from the people who have been taking care of her until such time that she was 19 years old. So when I said that she was estranged, I was 100% correct. Period. 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 As you all's first cousin, this is the saddest mess I've ever seen and heard in my life. Well, let me tell you what the saddest mess I've ever heard in my life is. The fact that while your mother 
was lying on her bed about to leave this earth, okay? You came in there and you said, I want my child's money now. What's sad to me is the fact that your mom had illness. She, was, she had cancer about to pass away and you walked in that hospital room asking for your money then. What's sad to me is the fact that you fought your mom and your mom fought you until y'all both were bloody. That's what's sad to me. So the real sadness that's within this family, I guess I'll include you this time, is the fact that you had no respect for your mother. You are not a blood relative. You are not related to us by blood. We do not share the same father and you are not from my father's side of the family, okay? You can only be blood related to someone if you share the same father. So dialing it back, going back to this part where you say hey, you let someone who is not blood keep you away from someone who is, she ain't blood and you ain't either. We don't share the same father. So what you're referring to is a step. That's a step, sister. She's a step, right? That's what she is. And she is 100% her daddy who has mental issues. Y'all are pitiful really pitiful the real sadness is y'all the real sadness is you clowns that's the real sadness the real sadness is the fact that your mother had a funeral business for almost 30 years probably more than that and probably a little bit less than that and y'all can't even give this woman a proper burial that's what's really sad so if we're talking about sadness here on this platform, let's be real about what's really sad and about what's really going on in this family. Let's be real about the fact that we don't have no ties to y'all and we don't talk to y'all. Nor did said lady that you're talking about in your comment at such time that she lived here because she didn't give a, she didn't care to have any type of a connection to you. A wide open phone could have called you or anybody on planet earth. Guess who she called for? Her mom, me, and that man in there who is her daddy. Now what she said after the fact that someone who is not blood keeps us away from someone is, that was my mom's firstborn. Now I ain't gonna spew nobody's business. But baby, is that really my mom's firstborn? And is that really your business? And do you actually know? And does she actually know? carry on because I don't be all up in folks business but what I'm saying is this the more you speak the more we know that you don't know us all you know is a script that somebody is telling all you know is a script that somebody has made up and pushed out to all of you people who are dumb enough to believe it that's all you know this is truly sad big mama is turning over in her grave Go ask the person that you're supposed to be defending, does she know who Big Mama is? Go ask her. Ask her, does she even know who that is? I had to think for a second. I said, Big Mama? Huh. Oh, you talking about my mama's mama? Oh, 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 okay. I had, to, I had to think for a minute. I had to think because Big Mama, quotation marks, in 1998, I was born in 2002. I never knew her, never heard her voice. And all I know that about Big Mama is what my mama has told me. And it's been nothing but great things. Okay? So, I'm not saying that she wasn't a pillar for this family and that she wasn't great. But she was long gone before such time that I was conceived. Okay? So, go ask Miss First Cousin. Your other cousin, do she know who this is, okay? Ask her and see. Cause I'm like, who, who that? Oh, my grandmama. Oh, okay. Okay, I was a little bit baffled there for a minute. Oh, and by the way, the first time that Big Mama, which is my grandmother, turned over was when your mom went to federal prison <clears throat> 
for embezzling money. That's the first time and she was alive then. But that's the part that y'all don't want to talk about. Okay. Well, carrying on. You would think that that would open your eyes to the fact that life is short and to the fact that family should always come first. My family comes first. My mom and my dad and that other lady that you're referring to in this message used to come first. My mom and my dad have always come first. I come first to me. So family has always come first. You are not even that much of family to come first. She is estranged, so she ain't even that much of family anymore to come first. You are a dang near step cousin. I ain't worried about no cousins that I don't talk to. Heck, I'm estranged from y'all. <laughs> and been estranged from y'all. And it's going to continue to stay that way. Ain't nobody keeping nobody away from nobody. I got a phone right here. I can call anybody that I want to call. But if I have not picked up the phone to call you, what does that tell you? That I don't want to talk to you. That I ain't got nothing to talk to you about. Common sense. you feel if you lost your sister god forbid honestly why would i be distraught about somebody that i don't know i don't know that lady she's betrayed a side of her that um, i don't want nothing to do with so it don't make me no difference either way i loved her do i love her yes but i haven't had a, a actual conversation with her in two years so it's not like we're close-knit it's not like we have a relationship that's a stranger. So, what are you getting at? What if her mom and her dad, God forbid, were to pass away? Her dad, okay, whose last name she's carrying, who's supposedly not her dad. What if they were to pass away? How would that make her feel? Don't ask me how it would affect me if my sister was to pass away, because I've been right by my sister. I have spoke nothing but facts about my sister. She is about to have your mom's first granddaughter who is your first niece. This lets you know how little people know about you and about your life. First of all, my mom already has granddaughters. <laughs> my mom's oldest daughter who is Tina already had children at such time that my dad and her got together. So by marriage, those are her grandchildren. So this is not the first grandchild. This ain't even the second grandchild. This ain't even the third grandchild and so forth and so on. My sister, my biological sister who has the same father as me has children. Okay, this ain't her first grandchild. Shoot, this dang near ain't even her 15th grandchild. My mom has plenty of grandchildren and we're a blended family over here. Okay, rights that my biological father gave to my dad, but that's stuff that you don't know because you're not present and accounted for and because you're not family like you want to be. And my first niece, I have so many nieces and nephews, which confirms that you don't know anything about this family. Furthermore, you don't know anything. My biological sister has not one daughter, not two daughters, not three daughters. I mean, and so forth and so on. I'm not out here looking for no niece. You're wrong. Again. You know what I'm saying? It's really sickening. Um, when people don't come with the truth. When you go to Jesus and you ask him to fix stuff, ask him to fix you first. Ask him to fix your crooked and broken ways. Ask him to fix the fact that you can come under somebody's video who is young enough to be your child, to spread your insecurity, and to spread your sadness. Maddie ain't stopping nothing. Maddie is going to speak facts, okay? I don't lie. I don't sugarcoat. And this whole family, fake family dynamic that all y'all got going on, where 
because one person in the family is popping or people in the family are doing well in life, that's got to stop. I know you. I'm your cousin. I'm your auntie. That's got to stop. I don't know you people. I ain't trying to know you people. We probably spent my whole entire time on this earth. I've been here for 18 years, almost 19. I done probably spent tops putting it all together. 24 hours in y'all presence put all together. You're that irrelevant. Stay off of the internet. Learn to speak facts and then you come to me and you report. But you can't tell me anything about a lady that I stayed in the house with for 16 years. That I never left the house without for 16 years. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. If somebody is cut off, they're cut off for a reason. When y'all see these trolls in the comment section, let them troll. Okay. These people is pitiful. You gonna tell me about somebody that I was raised around for 16 years? Girl, go find you a bed, lie in it, and don't wake up until you get to the point where you have the common decency to come and hear everybody's part of the story, not just one lion sob story. Anyways, that is it for this video. Before I leave this video, let me share with you all my glam star of the day. I want to thank you so much for your support and for your sweet comments. Thank you so much for being very active here on my channel. And if you're looking to be featured in my next video, all that you have to do is leave a comment down below. Make sure that your post notifications are turned on so that every time I post you are notified and when your first comment that boosts your chances of being featured in my next video. And that is it for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you don't have anything else to comment down below, please comment what you are and that is the star. Always remember to keep glamming and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Stay bells ringing.